Hi there, Lisa Arana here and welcome to another Assemble This video. Today's card is all about combining some lovely floral pattern paper with a rustic stamp set for a beautiful shabby chic card. I'm going to be featuring this Rustic Wishes stamp set and Autumn Dreams pattern paper from Unity Stamp Company. I just love how this desert and rustic set is prettied up with some floral designs. I have my stamps, paper, and some embossing powder already and set to go. So let's get stamping. I'm going to put some craft cardstock. I've pre die cut this with a stitched border die, and I'm going to put that into my Misty here and just lining my sentiment up in the bottom corner. I like to lay down the stamp on my cardstock and then pick it up with the door of the Misty and then line it up with the grid that's on there just to make sure that the, the words are straight. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'm just going to stamp that in some Versamark embossing ink because we will be embossing this with some Brutus Monroe uh, embossing powder. This is the color Penny. It has a gorgeous coppery, almost rose gold-like color to it, and I really just love the, the tone against the craft cardstock. Next, we're just going to stamp that skull onto the craft cardstock with embossing ink again. I just love how this image is uh, prettied up with some florals. It's very deserty. I live in Arizona, so I love these rustic shabby chic images. And the penny embossing powder just really pops against the craft background and just really makes this image look so pretty. I love the shine that it creates. So we're just going to tap off the excess and then heat this with our embossing tool. Just going to move our embossing tool pretty regularly but hold it close to the image that way it'll melt the embossing powder fast and we won't kind of warp our paper next we're just going to fussy cut out that um, rustic skull image i'm leaving a little bit of a border around it i don't want to try it and cut against that embossing powder so the border just is a nice effect So now that we have our image all fussy cut out, we're just going to set it aside here and work on our main panel. I want a little bit of pattern paper to pop up between um, some panels on this card. So I'm going to use this border die cut. It has a scalloped edge and also a bit of stitching to it. I'm just going to line that right above my sentiment. That's going to be my first cut. And then I'm going to kind of smush that back together and then use my second cut right above, maybe about an inch, inch plus. I'm using the skull to kind of get an idea how much of that background paper I want to peek through the front of the card. So I move that up just a smidge and then I'm going to run that through my die cut machine here. So now I have my two die cut panels and I love that little bit of a scallop. Again, I'm going for that shabby chic look. So it kind of pretties up the rustic image of that, that kind of deserty skull image. I'm using the Autumn Dreams floral pattern paper from Unity Stamp Company. I really love that rose. So I want to make sure that that's a featured part in this background. I'm just going to glue that straight down onto my card base and then trim off the edges so it's perfectly um, lined up against the card base. Next we're going to add some foam adhesive. I'm going to pop up those craft cardstock panels. I just like the contrast uh, so you can see that scallop against the background of that pattern paper. So we're going to line up the bottom one with our sentiment with the bottom of the card and then line the top panel up with the top of the card and then that just creates that perfect little frame for the, the pattern paper. Now I was going to put the skull right here above that but I wasn't 
I wasn't happy with that contrast, so I'm going to move it up just a little bit. I like the way that it fills in the, the emptiness of the top part of the card where that craft is. So we're going to pop that up with some foam adhesive, have a nice square behind the head, and then just some little tiny ones to make sure that the antlers are secure to the front of the card base. Cute. I love that. I just love that penny embossing powder with that um, pattern paper. It just matches so well. And the craft just helps it create that rustic, shabby chic look that I'm going for. Next, we're just going to finish everything off with a little bit of sequins, gluing those down with some glossy accents. And then I have this rhinestone pencil just to help me pick up those sequins and glue them down. Super cute. I love the shine that the sequins add and then also the movement as well. It just kind of fills in all those blank areas and gives your eye something to look at that's pretty. Here is the finished card featuring that beautiful rustic skull, pretty background paper, and the sequins which add a bit of sparkle and shine. It's so great for anybody who loves that rustic cowboy look with a bit of shabby chic. I have all the supplies linked in the description of this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any questions or a sweet comment, post below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.